Why is everybody playing Zulog? It doesn't seem that good. Have you seen my list? Play it. You're gonna be like, shit, why am I not playing Zulog? Should've been doing this all year. Zoo's been tier one since day one, man. That's just what, what it is. Every season, every patch, tapping and drawing good cards has been good. I think Zoo is arguably one of the hardest decks to play. People almost always play it incorrectly. Like, they don't keep the right one drops, they fuck up positioning and lose percentages there. People think Flame Imp's the best one drop. It's like... People just don't understand. You, you buff things, you trade them into things, you have things left. You try and line up your curve against their curve. Eventually, Zoo always becomes the best deck because decks become so net decked and always like the same. So everyone starts playing the same drops on every curve so then you can position your board in such a way that you can always buff up perfectly and trade into it and play the right one drops that allow you to do that and the right two drops that allow you to do that and whatnot, you know? So the longer the metagame goes on, the more it gets refined and everything gets all the same and staple, the better Zoo becomes over time. And that's why Zoo always ends up being tier one at the end of the day. Just because then you know, oh, everyone's gonna play this drop, this drop, this drop, and I'm gonna always have the initiative because my curve's lower, so I can set up my curve in such a way to deal with those drops as they come out. It's like, it just happens over time. Every metagame so far, Zoo's eventually became tier one. Zoo's just the truth, bro. So Rain Ed deck, best deck. Sure. If that's what you want to take away, take it away. The whole purpose of my entire speech there was Rain Ed's the best. And that's the truth. I mean, Rain Ed's one of the players that agrees with me and understands that. That's why he plays Zoo. That's why he won a bunch of things when he played Zoo in the beginning. But now he streams too much to win a bunch of things. Like, Raynet's fallen into that trap where it's like, he could stream and run his team and run his business and make a shitload of money, or he could be competitive at a children's card game and not make very much money. So, I'm pretty sure he goes with, uh, you know, running and managing a team instead of try-hard competing. Because it's just smarter. So, I mean, people should talk him because he's, like, kind of cocky and arrogant. I mean, the fact is, like, it takes time to be really good and takes a lot of practice and preparation and a lot of people have other jobs, especially team owners. Like owning a team's a bitch. I try hard and compete at a children's card game. Yeah. I enjoy it. Aggro decks are generally speaking a lot harder to make because control decks, you put in all the removal, you put in the good cards. Then wow. Control the board, fantastic.